Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a couple of fragrances by another YouTuber. So, the two fragrances in question have been created by Naz over at the channel called Toiletarian. Now, if you haven't watched Naz, he's got some great content. He does a lot of Middle Eastern stuff. He does a lot of good cheapies. He does fragrance hauls. It's a really fantastic channel and he's well worth checking out. In fact, I was honored when he emailed me and asked if I would like to try a couple of his fragrances. So he's actually created six fragrances, um, which you can pick up on eBay. He's got an eBay site. I think his name is Manzel2007. What I'll do, I'll leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description and also to his eBay page so you can take a look. So the six fragrances that he's created is Persian Garden, Persian King, Persian Assassin, Persian Desert, Persian Queen, and Prince of Persia, which I think Prince of Persia is his latest release. So the two that he sent me are this one, which is Persian Queen. And you can see I've been getting stuck into that. And this one, which is his latest one, which is Prince of Persia. So these bottles are, they're 15 mil inside the bottles and it is perfume extract that's in there. There's no additives, it's basically perfume oil. Um, there's no alcohol being added according to what he says. So you're talking top quality stuff, really strong. Now, I think these are 27 pound plus three pound postage, but there are multi-buy options. So the more you buy, the cheaper they get. And I think the postage, if you buy more than one, it increases by a pound for every extra one that you buy. But with the multi-buy offers, it's basically takes away the postage. So the other four, just a quick thing, after trying these two, I'm gonna be picking up the other four. Um, so, and I think that takes it from 27 pounds down to about 21 pound each, something like that, or 24 pound each. I'll leave the details in the description, you can take a look, but it's, it's a real good bargain. The more you buy, the cheaper they get. And the quality, let me tell you, the quality is superb. So what I'll do, we'll do um, both fragrances. I'll review them both and I'll do them one at a time. So first of all, we'll do Persian Queen. So we'll have a quick look at the presentation of the bottle and I'll give you the note breakdown on screen and then we'll look at the performance and my overall thoughts. So that was a note break then for Persian Queen. So originality, I've not tried anything like it before. I think it's a very unique, um, very enjoyable fragrance. So it's definitely an original. Is it linear? It does change slightly over time. It's quite um, fresh citruses and green in the opening. And it does get more sweeter and floral as it goes deeper into the fragrance. Projection, you're talking three to four hours of good projection from this. So it's it's a bit of a beast. Uh, longevity, 12 hours plus, it just lasts and lasts on your skin. And if you get it on your clothes, you can expect to be still smelling it on your clothes next week. That's how strong this is. Who to wear it? I would say this is definitely um, a unisex scent. There's a lot of florals in this, um, but there's a lot of masculine stuff in there as well. I would say it's straight down the middle. Um, some 
some men don't like florals but I totally love them and I think this is great so definitely unisex when to wear it um, I'd say it can be a daytime scent it can be for a dressed up occasion as well I think it's more spring summer but I would wear this in the autumn and winter as well because of how strong it is so yeah I think it's an all year round scent um, compliments definitely one that's going to gain your compliments I absolutely love it so one of my thoughts on this it's got a really fizzy opening a bit like um, a lemon sherbet it's not long before it starts becoming green and floral I love the greenness to this it comes from the vetiver and the geranium I'm thinking which also gives it a slight pepperiness it's really enjoyable so I get some neroli but unlike in a lot of fragrances the neroli doesn't take over um, it's there in the background giving it a bit of depth it's very opulent fragrance I think the name sums it up perfectly I think it's definitely fit for a queen I'll just show you the spray while I'm at it actually see how good that is and you only need one spray um, two sprays and you're killing people <laughs> it's that strong so the florals in this are amazing but I wouldn't say that they're too feminine I definitely say it's down the unisex line um, you've got jasmine in there which can be a little bit animalic but I don't tend to find it being animalic with this and I think it's another one of the many notes which are in this which support the fragrance brilliantly so it's got a wonderful base of musk amber sandalwood vanilla it's a sweet fragrance but it's also clean at the same time it gives a, a light airiness to it it's a massive hit for me i'd class it as a fresh oriental and is it worth the money i would say definitely it is pure oil after all um, and it's definitely worth the money so on to the next one and that's prince of persia so originality it is an original fragrance though it does have a rose oud feel to it i've tried a lot of rose ouds and it does smell different to any of those that i've smelled but you do get that rose oud base is it linear it does change over time i think this has got some freshness in the opening which dies down after a couple of hours um, yeah so once again it definitely changes over time projection same as the other one you're talking three to four hours projecting and once again you're talking 12 hours longevity um, and more on cloves it, they both are absolute beasts and that's one of the reasons why I want to get the other four in this collection um, the one thing I would say about this fragrance is because it's a darker I wouldn't spray it onto clothes I mean I spray it onto skin and it does leave like a little taint of a colour on there so you just wouldn't want to put that onto clothes as it probably would stain them who to wear it I would say it's more masculine than the previous fragrance uh, but I think this is more for the younger crowd as well and um, it's ideal really is nice when to wear it I would say this is more autumn winter maybe colder days in spring though a bit like the other one there's certain notes in there where the mint and the the bergamot and the citruses which give it a lighter feel which you could get away with it in the summer but yeah another one which you can wear it all year round in my opinion compliments I think definitely you would get compliments with this again I've got many compliments off different rose oud combos and I see no reason why you couldn't get a compliment off this one so let's take a look at the bottle and we'll take a look at the notes So that's the bottle and the presentation 
and the note breakdown so let's have a look at this fragrance overall so this is another opulent oriental fragrance i love my orientals as you well know i get a big rosewood saffron feel from this but there is so much more going on a lot of rosewoods can just be straight down the line that's all you're getting but with this there's so much more you got hints of mint lime bergamot without any of them ever overtaking the fragrance and controlling the fragrance the mint especially you're getting like a menthol every now and again i really do enjoy that so the main players in this are the rose and oud as i mentioned before but i think they're supported very well with the saffron tobacco and the jasmine now the jasmine does have a little animalic feel to it as jasmine can do sometimes i know a lot of people don't like jasmine because of that but i wouldn't say it's too animalic and not too overpowering i really enjoy it and i'm not a fan of animalics or the stronger animalics anyway i love the cloves in this now cloves are another one of those notes which some people hate some people love i'm a big fan of cloves and i think the clove note always tends to give like a tanginess to a fragrance which i really enjoy and this definitely has that so this is a fresher version of a rose oud saffron oriental fragrance and um, i love the mint in this i think it really does a nice job alongside the rose oud saffron combo so i am really pleased to have tried this and i got big thanks to naz for sending these to me and naz i will be picking up the other four so is it a hit or miss for me as you might have guessed it's another hit if i were to choose between the two i would probably go with the persian queen because it's something which i haven't smelt anything like before and i really enjoy it i do love this and it is different to any rose ouds that i've tried but you can have too much of one thing with rose oud and that combo can be a bit too much at times i've got so many other rose ouds in my collection um it's just added to that list it does go in different directions and like i was saying earlier i enjoy the mint in it but i think i would probably lean more towards the persian queen is it worth the money i think once again definitely for that price um 27 pound 15 mil and it's perfume extract oil I, I don't think you can beat that price so absolutely love these fragrance thanks again naz for sending them through to me let me know in the comments below have you tried any of naz's fragrances uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll speak to you all soon stay fragrant not vagrant